Hello and welcome to metallics.co.nz My name's Alex Telford and today I have another tutorial in these little quick tips that I'm releasing at the moment and that is using the to sear function to make circles now I know the to sear is to spare uh, I have a lisp sorry um, <laughs> it's not made for doing doing this but it works really well so first thing we're going to do is going to go control 2 add a subdivision surface level 2 click apply control 2 again just so we have a slightly more high resolution mesh to mess around with and now I'm going to go face select, let's just select these faces let's just E, escape, scale it down extrude it in, extrude it in a bit more and that is a extrusion that now you see this isn't circular now we'll, we'll extrude it in but now it's square I get this a lot um, and it's always been a pain but the two sphere function works really well so what you need to do is just be in vertex mode or edge mode and just select all the way around not the center vertex you select the center vertex and do it it's going to mess up like that so what you want to do is just select the perimeter go shift actually where's I turn on my keyframe there we go shift alt s and press 1 just to go all the way up to 1 and now let's select the next edge left out shift alt s1 next one shift alt s1 and of course this one out here as well S1. And now you can see we have a not quite the best um, the best looking thing, but it works. It works perfectly from from the uh, this view here. Now all you need to do is just tidy up the edge work along there just by bringing it out a bit. Along that. And actually let's just let's just do, use that same tool again. So I'm just gonna <coughs> have a little cough. Uh right, my bad. Right, selecting the selecting that middle one there, three in the middle view in the side view. Let's just select all the way around there. Shift Alt S one. Do the same with this one. Shift Alt S one. Oh, Shift Alt S one. There we go. And now you can see that that's looking much nicer. Now you can you can fiddle around with things. Um, it doesn't give you a perfect result, but that is usually perfectly fine. I mean, you're just looking for a better result, aren't you? I mean, something something that works. A little bit better than what you than just doing it manually. So that's it for this quick tip: um, how to cut, how to make circular extrudes, um, or I don't know what I'm going to call this, something along those lines. Anyway, yeah, there we go. That looks like a golf tee. And that, yeah. That's fine. There we go. Oh, that's all I need to do. That, that looks fine. Okay, anyways, moving on. Uh, so that's it for today. My name's Alex Tilford. Hope you learnt something and you are on metallics.co.nz.